final go to AK video blog of the summer season. This time we're heading through Fairbanks all the way up to Barrow with the winner of our blog contest. Believe it or not, it's Chris Wilcox from Woody and Wilcox. He's already on the job. This is Wilcox. Chris Wilcox. He's a big time radio star, so he's always chatted up with the bigwigs. My friends at Frontier Alaska are flying us to Barrow via Fairbanks, and before we even get off the ground, Wilcox has made a celebrity sighting. That's our senator. In case you don't know, that's Senator Murkowski with John Binkley on her left. So as we're waiting in the lobby, we uh, pass by our senator, Lisa Murkowski. I would have announced it right when we were walking by her, but I'm too much of a wuss to call her out. Here we go, getting on the plane now. Hand in hand with Scott Elness. He's scared. He's really, he's really afraid. As we board our era chariot, Wilcox has some final comments. Any final comments, Mr. Wilcox? <laughs> I love you more today than the day we met. I can't wait. Feelings mutual. I can't wait to begin our lives together. <laughs> the engines are fired up. Whoa, that's gnarly! And we are on our way to Fairbanks. But not without a little rendezvous with the thing they call the Alaska Range. That's one of the great things about flying to Fairbanks. On a clear day, you can see some of the highest peaks in the world sitting right outside your window. In just over an hour, the Tanana Valley is in sight and we are touching down in Fairbanks. Both Wilcox and I are sporting HD flip video cameras. Fairbanks got to uh, do stuff that will keep us out of prison. Maybe. <laughs> And from my perspective... All right, we made it to Fairbanks. Time to uh, do stuff that'll keep us out of prison. Maybe. <laughs> Though Avis rents cars in 10 different Alaskan cities, I don't think they have the one that Wilcox really wants. Here we are at the Avis. Elness has just rented our neon green Del Sol. We're in for a good night, my friend. Mm. Mm. Though we end up with a silver Subaru instead, doesn't keep Wilcox from getting a little bit excited anyway. <laughs> <laughs> or maybe he's just excited about our accommodations. We're staying at the Wedgwood Resort right near the UAF campus. There's a lot more to it than just a hotel. There's a small park in the center of the complex and it has some sod house replicas and some of the alternative methods of getting around Alaska. The Wedgwood accommodates everything from families to local and national tour companies. And contractors like staying here because its apartment-like setup is great. You can save money by not having to go out to dinner every night. My room came with two double beds and a fold-out in the main room. But after seeing the weather outside the window, I'm thinking the dining room won't get much of a workout. Tonight's the kind of night you go out to dinner instead. One of the best chief insurance ever. Had. We are meeting up with the general manager Jeff Hammermeister, his wife Nancy, their friend Buzzy, and we are heading off to the Golden Bear Restaurant. And we are in for quite an unforeseen treat. The Golden Bear serves a traditional Alaskan fare like halibut and salmon, and I start off with the seafood chowder, and we're off to a good start. Wilcox orders the steak and mashed potatoes, and I order, well, <laughs> the steak and mashed potatoes. But our lack of creativity doesn't stop me from enjoying the meal. I mean, come on. How can you go wrong with steak and mashed potatoes? And Wilcox seems to agree. Right this way? Or the glass this way? Hello. With the cheesy thing. Hello. The Wedgwood. Good stuff. <laughs> When the dessert orders arrive, Wilcox has ordered the blueberry ice cream. And I, well, I've ordered the blueberry ice cream as well. But we're both glad we did. This is that unforeseen treat I told you about. This is made by Hot Licks with real Fairbanksian blueberries. I was having got it on the screen. Oh, who? <laughs> oh, so what are your thoughts on our first dinner together? <laughs> Outstanding. <laughs> Do I have stuff in my teeth? Yes. Uh, all right, we just had some steaks, some blueberry ice cream. It's off to the Blue Loon. Wilcox and I are going to be looking for bail money. I've spent a fair amount of time in Fairbanks, and this is one of the places I consider my home base. A familiar sight. The Blue Loon is just a couple miles down the park's highway towards Esther. And being out of town is not a problem, because you can get a guaranteed $20 cab ride back to anywhere in Fairbanks. The evening crowd fills in. And it's retro remix night, so my buddy Willie, he's sporting some of the dynamite threads. Hmm. The man who owns the Blue Loon is Adam Wool there on the left. He and I go back a little ways, but he doesn't know much about my blog. 
Which, uh, is, oh, this is a video camera, isn't it? When national acts come to Anchorage, a lot of times they like to go to Fairbanks, too. And when they go to Fairbanks, they play at the Loom. Wilcox has run into a former co-worker of his that used to be in Anchorage and now is a general manager at a station in Fairbanks. <laughs> As the ladies start hitting the dance floor, Wilcox gets inspired. But I know someone with doper moves than him. Did you see that? Yeah, that just happened. As the party gets a bit steamier, we are gearing up to head out for our second destination of the evening. We out of here. We are heading downtown to visit a place that used to be called the Big International. Now it's simply called the Big Eye, which kind of confuses Wilcox, but we'll get to that in a minute. The Big Eye is more of a sit down, hang out, and drink your drink kind of bar. 2.13 in the morning. Say hello, Kim. Hello, Kim. We are at the Big One in Fairbanks. It's called the Big Eye. Vintage bar known as the Big One here in downtown Fairbanks. Big Eye. Chairs that are held together with duct tape. Since he works in radio, I was about to give him a break until one of my Ace Ventura quotes sailed right past him. Buzzy Chew. Buzzy Chew. Nice Bumblebee Tuna. <laughs> I don't know what that means. And that made me so upset, I was completely inconsolable. <laughs> so we decided it was time to head home and turn out the lights because we got a big day ahead. A day that starts off with Wilcox misfiring once. And twice. And a triple. Hi. <laughs> Welcome. Good morning. And then at breakfast, let's just say he had me a little bit concerned. Wilcox went to the bathroom like 10 minutes ago. I call out the National Guard. Little did I know, that was just the beginning. Hi. Can I get in your automobile? That's my dish, baby. Mm.